Hello, this is Laura Thomas with Fractured Sky Files. Now, there is a lot of weird phenomenon taking place all over, exactly as we've warned would be coming. I want to give a few examples from just this past week alone. A week ago, on April 20th, some strange things started to take place. Between the 18th into the 20th, watchers noticed weird occurrences with the sun, such as this example. But guys, this thing came out and dropped straight south, if you want to look at a north and south orientation. <clears throat> and it's very unusual. I don't know what happened there. But again, I was not the only one to catch it. Most of you guys are probably realizing that looks a little odd. Again, if they come out from that area, they're usually going to head towards where I had that red dot. Now look at the second image as it continues to fall. I guess it's just a big blob of plasma, guys. Things are changing on the sun, guys. Um, science is changing. We're paying attention to it. We're trying to learn everything we can. But notice the velocity at which the, the solar flare CME came off the surface of the sun. What happened here? It had no horsepower at all. It just fell off of the sun. Where's the solar wind? The solar wind is a constant, right? That should have came off this way, not dropped straight down. And I've inserted over here on the right the, the SOHO Lasco C2. This is the SDO over here on the left. This is the same incident. Then Space Weather said, Farmers, did your tractors just go crazy? Many modern farmers use GPS-guided tractors to plant and tend to their crops. However, some of them veered off course. They have received reports of dancing tractors on Easter Sunday, April 20th, 2025, due to unusual GPS errors. There was no geomagnetic storm on April 20th, so they are looking for confirmation and trying to figure out exactly what occurred. Not long before that, there was nine-hour opening in Earth's shield and deep radiation and saturation events. It looks like that occurred during the 20th event as well. A lot of radiation down past the satellites and surrounding the Earth. Then, Mike from Council of Time told everyone to watch the 24th for a geomagnetic anomaly on the 24th. These are notes based off of his observations to watch for that day. He said it way in advance, and I took a note on it on the 21st, just a few days before the 24th. Sure enough, an interplanetary shockwave hit Earth on the 24th, which they blamed on a CME that we probably missed or didn't see coming. I've looked and don't see data matching that. An interplanetary shockwave hitting Earth's magnetic field can cause sudden disturbances and geomagnetic anomalies, which occurred. Then, on April 26th, the sun did another strange solar event that seasoned avid watchers took note of. The primary thing that caught my attention the last day was a medium-sized filament that tore itself away from the corona and out into space. At least that's what it looked like, right? I was watching the coronagraphs and, honestly, I don't see the eruption down in the southern hemisphere coming off the left side. I do not see it at all, and that's peculiar. But then, I also start focusing up north off the polar crown, and that's about the biggest stealth CME I have ever seen, biggest plasma filament structure I've ever seen, and the only such event I've ever seen like that coming off the polar region. Peculiar solar events here yesterday, not sure what to make of them just yet. See, the sun is doing some strange things. Then the 26th through 27th. John writes, April 26th through 27th, 2025, Earth's magnetosphere, there's no good reason for any of this to be happening. The sun is calm, space weather is calm, but there's this, cracks opening up in Earth's magnetic field. Radiation is breaching the satellite orbit band, getting closer and closer to the surface of the Earth. I saw the same thing. That's very accurate. Um, the Earth's electromagnetic field is failing, weakening, and cracking open. Very accurate. Now today on April 28th, a rare atmospheric phenomenon has just caused entire blackouts across Spain and Portugal. I did a video about that this morning, so I'll just add it here so you can understand what was happening, what has happened there, and why it was so rare. Just know that strange things are taking place now, but brace yourselves, it's about to get even more bizarre. Spain and Portugal have been hit by a major power outage that I do believe was caused by a rare atmospheric phenomenon, such as we've been warning would be seen on larger scales soon. Spanish and Portuguese governments are holding crisis meetings after this massive power blackout. It has knocked out airports, subway networks, traffic lights, and ATM machines. In Spain, all rail traffic has come to a halt. And in Portugal, authorities are warning 
against any unnecessary travel due to the risk of traffic lights failing, telling people stay where you are and stay put. While they are currently ruling out cyber attacks, the Portuguese grid operator has just came out and said that a rare atmospheric phenomenon in Spain caused the power outages across the Iberian Peninsula. So caused by rare atmospheric phenomenon they say. What does that mean? Well the Portuguese electricity operator, Reinhages Energéticas Nacionais, attributed the recent widespread power outage across Portugal and Spain to a rare atmospheric phenomenon, linked to extreme temperature variations. According to Ren, these temperature fluctuations in Spain's interior caused anomalous oscillations in very high voltage power lines, phenomenon known as induced atmospheric vibration. This led to synchronization failures between interconnected systems, resulting in cascading disturbances across the European electricity grid, extreme and rapid temperature variations, which can cause something known as induced atmospheric vibrations in very high voltage power lines. When sudden and extreme temperature differences occur between different layers of the atmosphere hot below, cold above, or vice versa, it creates unusual air currents, sometimes even gravity waves, in the atmosphere without strong ground-level winds. These rare currents can cause power lines to oscillate abnormally, even if you don't feel much wind at ground level. If the oscillations get synchronized across a large region, hundreds of kilometers, they can destabilize the grid by causing Rapid changes in the electrical load and frequency. High voltage grids across Europe are interconnected in a giant balancing act. If a major oscillation or failure happens in one part, say, central Spain, the shock wave propagates instantly across the system, affecting Portugal, France, parts of Germany, etc. Automatic safety systems then trip to protect the grid, causing widespread blackouts as a defensive measure. The technical name for this phenomenon is often connected aeolian vibrations or subspan oscillations. But what happened in Spain, Portugal seems more extreme. It's closer to galloping or resonant oscillations, caused by atmospheric thermal gradients, a very rare thing in summer. Why this is so rare? Normally, such oscillations only happen in freezing. Conditions with icing on cables, winter galloping, not during hot summer months. Weather changes are increasing extreme. Thermal contrasts hot surface temps, cooler upper air, making these summer galloping type events possible now, in ways that engineers didn't anticipate. Bottom line, the rare atmospheric phenomenon was extreme vertical temperature, gradients causing unexpected synchronized mechanical oscillations in very high voltage lines, overloading parts of the grid and triggering automatic shutdowns. We can expect to notice more rare occurrences with weather phenomenon coming very soon. Eyes opened.